Hey everyone, it's Wingspan TT, the fourth best commentator on YouTube, and do I have a treat for you. We're going to be looking at some alpha gameplay footage of an exciting new independent game that's coming out, that's running on Kickstarter, that's on Steam Greenlight, and I get to play with the game's creator. This guy's a gaming legend who's been in the business for, I don't even know, for longer than I've probably been alive, and I, it's just an absolute joy to be playing this game with the creator, and I don't, I don't even want to spoil it, I just want to get into the gameplay, get into the interview, so here we go. Go. All right, so I'm here with Julian Gollop, and we're going to be checking out Chaos Reborn. Now, I can't say that I had the pleasure of playing the original Chaos, but I think a lot of people are familiar with uh, some of the games that you've worked on, Julian. Can you can you tell us uh, just some of the titles that you worked on in the past? Uh, yes, sure. I mean, my most uh, famous and well-known title is XCOM UFO Defense, which uh, came out in 1994, published by Microprose. And uh, XCOM Apocalypse was another XCOM game in the series. Uh, and before that, I've done lots of um, games for 8-bit for home computer formats, such as Laser Squad and Original Chaos. And since then, I have um, worked at Ubisoft also, working on Ghost Recon Shadow Wars for uh, 3DS, and uh, most recently, Assassin's Creed 3 Liberation for PS Vita. But now I am returning to indie, and uh, Chaos Reborn is, is my, my new project, my new game. That, that's great. I mean, I, I've definitely ha had a, a little bit of a foot in uh, a lot of those titles over the years, and uh, I think a lot of our viewers will also um, be into it. And I personally, I've played XCOM, and I, I, I like the whole strategy game. I'm kind of like afraid of aliens, so <laughs> it's just, just there's only a certain amount of time that I can play before it gets to me that I'm like, okay. But wizards, I'm not afraid of wizards. Uh, wizards have never harmed me or abducted anyone I know. Uh, um, and I, I love the, the whole look of this game. I know this isn't final graphics or anything, but it's got that Tron kind of... Um, it, it feels 8-bit while still feeling new, and uh, just looks yeah. really cool. And I yeah, see there's... I mean, this sorry, is, go ahead. This is a prototype, by the way. So, I mean, actually, none of the graphics here are in any way final. The interface is, is really completely provisional. Um, this is for testing gameplay. So we've got about one-third of the spells implemented, and we've got some multiplayer capabilities. So it's a two-player game. And um, I'm just going to go off and cast a spell. So I'm the blue wizard, and I'm going to try and summon a. Your staff zombie. is okay, but I like my staff more. <laughs> hey, yes, it's, it's a power this. staff. So I'm going to try and summon a zombie. 80% chance of casting it. Uh, let's see if I'm lucky. Ooh, oh, okay. It's, you it's have... working out for me so far. That is a scary zombie. Is, zombie. <laughs> zombie is very slow, so it's only going to be one tile. Sure. And normally, uh, a walking creature like a wizard, for example, will move two tiles. So you're certainly not in any immediate danger. He's more of a shambling creature than a walking yeah, creature. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hobble over towards you, but it'll take a while to get there. <laughs> All right. I, I'm a little afraid of zombies. I'm going to move over a little bit. And, and just explain to the people at home, I guess um, we're seeing percentages here on spells, and that's because, I guess, being called Chaos Reborn, there's kind of a balance between chaos and order. Is that right? Yeah, so you've got uh, law spells and chaos spells and neutral spells, and if you cast law spells, it will try and shift the balance of the cosmos towards law, making law spells easier to cast, and if you cast chaos spells, it will try and shift it back towards chaos and ultimately make those easier to cast. So that will be part of your strategy when you look at your spell list. Got it. And the, the neutral spells uh, have no effect on this, and they aren't affected by it. Uh, but they, they can be quite powerful Still in the, their own right, so they're, hmm. they're always worth considering. Now, I, I think I have to go for an eagle because it's just so American. It's got that uh, Assassin's right. Creed eagle thing going on, um, yeah. which everyone knows I'm a big fan of that. So let's just go for an eagle. I'm going to be sorely disappointed. There we go. Uh, Look at that guy. Now it's a flying creature, so I have to start worrying about that right now. Uh, five four spaces, so he won't be able to attack me immediately because I'm on top of that cliff there. Uh, I'll just uh, shuffle my zombie over towards you. Ugh. Uh, I will be retreating now. <laughs> Not the many immediate danger. Run but from my <laughs> power, eagle yeah. power. And I'm going to try and figure out what I can do to uh, protect myself from the eagle. So I'm going to try and summon okay. uh, ooh, let's try let's try a spider okay so uh, okay. and just let's to ask too do the the wizards themselves do they have any oh, kind right. of defense are they more like the kings in chess essentially they're kind of limited 
Yeah, the wizard is quite vulnerable. I mean, he can be killed in one hit, like any creature. Um, oh. So his, his defense is is medium, and his attack is pathetic. You, you've got to try and build up your wizard defenses either by surrounding yourselves with creatures and, and having some distance, or you can buff him up with some magic uh, equipment, like a magic shield, or, or even better still, you can you can ride a mount, which will give you a level of protection. All right. Now, your, uh, your eagle there, just to give you some advice before you start moving, cannot attack my zombie because my zombie is undead. Oh. Uh, attacked by other undead creatures or uh, magic spells. So huh. you want to try and maneuver around my uh, zombie. Yeah, he's going to go. Oh, I see everyone just turned towards him. He's like the star of the show over here. <laughs> <laughs> they just kind of like, oh, there's an eagle. Um, all right, let's see what I can put on the field here. So, hmm, hmm. Sure, why not? Why not? Lion. Lion. Very, Very majestic. I'm going fast, for majesty today. Fast and powerful. Uh, but in this map, of course, we've got this big sort of uh, chasm between us, so it's, you're going to have to go around to get me. Um, however, I, I can definitely feel a pincer movement coming on here. Um, <laughs> no. Retreat I my wizard a little I, bit. I don't have any strategy whatsoever. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, see if I, oh, I failed to summon my unicorn. A 60% oh. chance. That's unfortunate uh, for you. It, it is. Now I can advance my zombie, shuffle him up a little bit towards your lion to try and block him, Got hopefully. It. And my spider, he moves quite fast, three spaces. It's not going to be quite enough to reach your eagle. eagle. Hmm, I see. Hey, that is not cool, man. Eagles were born to be free, all right? They weren't supposed to be constrained, <laughs> all right? Here, this eagle's like, F your Spider-Man. Uh, not Spider-Man, you know what I mean. And uh, <laughs> just move. Got lion over here. And uh, maybe my guy wants to go fill a stroll. Um, hmm. Hmm. What does Magic Sword do? I guess I could read that it. That will summon a Magic Sword for your wizard. Oh, OK. Make his combat extremely good. And he can fight the undead, it says, uh, also, Yes, right? and he can fight the undead. However, I would not advise using a sword unless you are also riding a mount. <laughs> so, um, but, it, but it is good. If you have the opportunity to use it, then it, it can certainly slay a dragon, for example, mm. with, with a good probability. Okay. Hmm. I don't know. Let's but, see. I mean, at this stage, I mean, you want to try... Keeping putting the pressure on me because I'm certainly feeling yeah yeah I like another, that idea. And that's something like a lion or an eagle again would be pretty good. Yeah, I think I think I agree. I totally agree. Let's see. I don't and and what's what's determining which spells I have access to? Is it random or at the moment in the prototype it is it is random. Uh, so each each game you play, each player will have a random selection of spells. Which was whoa! As it's look at this. Okay, so basically it's getting pulled similar, kind of like to a deck uh, a little bit. Is it? Is it? Is yeah, that so fair to say? Yeah. Final game, we will have a. Uh, we'll also have a random mode, but there'll also be a constructed mode, which will be a little bit like uh, you know a collectible card game, since you're trying to compose your deck out of a larger scale library. Oh, I, I failed to do web your eagle. I'm going to try and advance my zombie to try and at least block your alliance a little bit. And I re really am feeling the pressure. What can I do about the eagle? Uh, can you, can ah, you just put something in like the developer console and just shoot like Wrath of God <laughs> down or something? Or Sadly, sadly not. I have <laughs> got, okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, uh, what the hell, I'm not gonna run away from the eagle anymore. I'm gonna try and cast a spell to which fight it. is, a magical attack, I've got 80% chance of casting it, and then it has a very high chance of actually killing your eagle because it has oh. a magic resistance. Come on. Uh, Please fail. Okay. Oh, God. Yeah, the feathers. So, yeah, magical attacks are, are an attack versus a creature's magic resistance, and neutral creatures like eagles and also lions, um, you know, the, the main drawback is that they have weak magical resistance. Hmm. Let's see. So you're going to have to try and maneuver around my zombie if you can, because your lions can't attack him. I see. Hmm. Let me see what spells I have. 
Um, so what, what things could attack a zombie? Like a skeleton could attack a zombie? Skeleton, could yeah, a goblin exactly. attack a zombie? No. 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 Okay. The, the undead creatures um, can attack each other. So you've got zombie, skeleton, and vampire if you have one. Got it. Or you can use a magical attack spell against a zombie. It's pretty good. I see. It's with magical resistance. Um, or a magical weapon. A magic bow, magic sword. You get oh! <laughs> you tried to cast disbelief. Oh, you cast disbelief on my spider. I didn't believe you had a spider. <laughs> I thought it was possibly an illusion because it was like your whole beginning strategy was like, I'm gonna have a spider. And like, yeah, well, okay. I was, uh, I was a little bit desperate because it was coming for. Me. Like, it seemed really <laughs> convenient that you got that spider. So, yeah, of course, yes, yeah, well played. That was very good. <laughs> um, I'm not entirely convinced that both your lions are real either, to be honest. Oh, why would you think that? Why would you think that? I am. I have got a sneaking suspicion that. Go ahead, case. throw away your turn. Throw away your turn, Julian. Let's see it. Oh. Ah, that one was an illusion. Huh. That was an illusion because if it vanishes in a puff of smoke when you kill it, it wasn't it real. Was an illusion, and <sighs> that is convert. But is your other lion an illusion? Is the question. Isn't everything an illusion when you really think about it? Isn't just existence <laughs> an illusion? Maybe. Um, Maybe. <laughs> let's just find out whether this lion's. <laughs> no, I don't think you should find out. Oh, I don't think real. there's any. But yes, real. the lion is real, and he is now he's extra pissed. He's uh, hungry. He's going uh, on a witch hunt. <laughs> okay, so I got to run away in the other direction now. Lion advance, lion bros advance. <laughs> oh man! All right, what do I got here? What the hell does this thing do? Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Con target, line of sight, range. All right. I'm just going for whatever. I'm just going for dark power. Dark power oh, failed. Oh. All right, it was worth That's it. Good. That's good. Worth good. it. But not easy to cast. No. So, <laughs> um, I'm going to just start running in the other direction away from your line here, and I've got to do something to try and block it. I seriously. Okay, this might work. Let's just try this one. You know, you could summon a chair. I've heard ch chairs uh, are good for taming e lions. <laughs> you eat blob. Uh, yeah, much better than a chair. <laughs> chair and a whip, you know? It's very classic. It's classic line taming tools. So okay. what I've done, I've cast a gooey blob there, which is spread around a bit, and that's that's blocked off your approach for the lion, thank Got goodness. It. Got it. All right. All right. Yeah, I don't want any, anything to do with this zombie. But you can't go through the gooey blob, right? I can't go through my own gooey blob. No, I can't All even right. control it either. It's just going to spread randomly now. I see. I see how this is going to go. All right. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, Whatever. I'm going nice. to get a unicorn. I know I'm going to get a unicorn. Would have been nice. I'm, I'm pushing things towards chaos a little bit here. We're at chaos plus five. Mm. Uh, which I'm kind, I'm kind of liking that at the moment. I'm going to... And what, it, can... what is the maximum amount of chaos? Could there be 100%? Is it, could it go it's, all the way up that high? It's possible. Ooh. I've never seen it go that high, but it's I possible. Like you would need I, some I, real chaotic people. Like the kind of people who um, wear short <laughs> sleeves to like a formal event, like that kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like you couldn't have, no lions would be involved in that. All right, okay, here we go. All right, so then yeah, see, I, I can look at the spells and, first. Hmm. Try and get to my wizard with your lion for sure. Uh, I don't have any kind of gooey blobs available. Let's see. Let's see what I can do. I need something fast. I don't have anything fast. It doesn't look like there are any fastness. So whatever. Uh, nothing more whatever. flying. I got a sword, all right? Got a sword, that's good. I got a sword now. That's good. Now you need to find something to ride on, like an elephant no. or a no, Pegasus or something like that. I roll up to am... crib with a sword. <laughs> now I'm feeling the pressure again, because although you can't get me next turn with your line, turn after, it will be possible. And I am thinking, should I try it? Another gooey box. So oh, my got lion, one. my poor lion. Got one. Or should I try? Yeah, let's try another gooey blob. And see if that works. Why don't you get a sword and come duel me? <laughs> okay, good. Your lion is blobbed. He's stuck now. Okay, great. He's stuck. My zombie is gonna shuffle towards you, and that's it for my I turn. I can fight your zombie now, though, right? Yeah, with your sword, you actually probably stand a very high percentage chance of actually seventy-five percent yeah. chance. But if I mess up, that's bad. Yeah, because then my zombie will attack you, and he—he's not actually that strong, but he I will see. stand a thirty-three percent chance of killing your wizard. Hmm. 
So he's got an attack two, you always got a defense four, that'd be two to four, it's thirty three percent. And let's see here. So How the far odds are movement one per turn. Oh, okay. I see. Yeah, the odds are good for you, but it's probably not worth it at this stage. I, I no. would use your sword when you when you really need to. I got to it. it. I've got it. I know what to do. All right. Whoa, wait. Hold on. How come I can't? Hmm. What? I couldn't. I'd have to directly attack this uh, thing in order to. I can't use a magic bolt on it. Uh, on my zombie, yes, you can. Oh, okay. Uh, I see. You have because Matter yeah, you need to. Now. If you're going to use a magic bolt, yes, you need to do it from where you are. Uh, have you got press? Ooh, okay. I just gave some bling. I'm sorry. I, I just. Oh yeah. Well, you've got a magic shield. It's very magic good. Magic shield. So, yeah. Magic sword. Incredibly defensive. My blob is still blobbing, which is good. <laughs> it's blobbing uh, away. Now I've got to try and figure out. All right, I'm not <laughs> under any immediate threat. My zombie is going to shuffle towards you, but my wizard. Uh, I need to something that can reach your wizard and attack him. And My wizard's got a shield. I'm, I'm going to try and summon a manticore. It's only 42% because it's really quite a, a, an impressive creature. Oh yeah. Okay, that's good. That's Damn. good. Damn. What? Uh, what? Can you tell me what a manticore is exactly? Uh, a manticore is a. Ah, uh, that's from Greek mythology. So it's got like a body of a lion. It's got like a tail of a scorpion. It actually shoots stings from its tail. It's oh. got like a head of. Uh, it's got a face of a man, uh, but it's got <laughs> wings so it can fly, and it's a mount so I can ride it. I see. So it's quite nice for me to to have a. Oh, it's real! No, come on! Real, I'm like, yeah, I'm setting up like a, a punchline on my head. Like that's well, a really interesting description, Julian. Uh, I think it's made out of bullshit, <laughs> <laughs> but apparently it's not. No, it it's is bullshit-free manicure. It's bullshit-free manicure. Uh, well, it's, it probably was worth you trying to disbelieve it, um, right? Because mm. it's not something you want to have coming towards you. No. no. Uh, but it's very good for me as a mount. So I'm going to get on top of my uh, manicure, mm -hmm. and I'm going to try and figure out what is the best because you can't get to me but I can get to you so I'm going to yeah, fly, fly down here yeah but dude I got a, I got a sword and shield right. yeah my manticore is going to shoot you he's, he's got no. a 9% nine, nine chance <laughs> no 9% I see no. okay he's that's attacked. tough yeah whatever uh, now I got a spell to cast as well and is there anything so you can you attack can and cast a spell in the same turn uh, that's the manticore that, that attacks. Uh, I see. Uh, so if, if you're riding a mount, he can do an attack, and then you as a, a wizard riding the, the mount. Oh, that's Either nice. do an attack or cast a spell. So, All right, let's that, see it. That was the manticore's attack. And my, my wizard is going to cast a spell, and it's it really is quite a long shot here. Well, let's see if I can do it. And you can't cast a uh, spell as an illusion, right? You have to actually cast a spell. Uh, yeah, I mean, creatures can be summoned as illusions only. Yeah. Got it. So, so, so other... So I'm going to try and summon a green dragon. 20% chance. Will I do it? Oh, yes. Yeah, oh, nice. come on. That's nice. Come on. <laughs> come on. I don't have anything good I could cast. All right. How much? What does this do? That's pretty good. Hmm. What if I... No. Okay, I'd have to walk down these stairs. <sighs> Oh god. Do you have a mount of any kind? No, I don't think that so. An Can I, could I mount a goblin or like a dwarf? No, no, I've always don't. wanted to mount a don't like just get on top of a that. dwarf. <laughs> I mean maybe it's a little denigrating to the dwarf, but like, you know, whatever, I'm um, a fucking wizard. You know what, whatever, like uh, whatever. Eat this zombie. You just like slice it. Well, how do I uh, fight him? There we yeah, go. Boom. Alright, there we go. And he was an illusion in fact. Please. Oh, come on, that whole time! He was, he was yeah. Why he would you... <laughs> I'm like, there's no way he would have just this lame zombie as an illusion. Well, you know, I figured, you know, what the hell. Um, <laughs> I am going to move my dragon. Now, my dragon's got a range. It can't quite reach you for close combat. No. It's got a ranged attack, so I'm going to try and flame you. Okay, only 30% chance. Oh. I can... Green dragon. It's... Defense 13. I see. Got it, got it, got it. I'm just gonna try and shoot you again. I'm very yeah, weak. Yeah, you guys are just. I got a fucking magical uh, Kevlar vest here, you know? Yeah, you're very tough at the moment. Can I have a magical Pope mobile? Is that something I can uh, <laughs> no. pull in? I'll try right. and get another Manticore, mm. I think. Oh, no, I failed. Mm. Would have been nice to really pile the pressure on. Okay. 
now you've got a interesting choice here because um, actually your wizard, in terms of its power, it, it now with your magic uh, sword and shield is, is at least as good as my, my dragon. So you stand a reasonable chance of actually slaying him. Mm. I'm guessing it's probably around 50% or so. Yeah, your... it's about that. Yeah, so your it attack is, is 12, that. whereas my mm. dragon's defense is 13, so it's very close to 50%. <sighs> it might be the best I chance. Don't... Yeah, I think so. Plus, I, then I can have like title like Dragon Slayer or something. Yep, oh, it was fake. It. I knew it was, it was fake. An anyway. <laughs> I know. It doesn't really matter. It's like, all right, well, I got rid of it. I could either spend the turn getting rid of it one way or another. Now I've got a fairly... Now. Yeah, you're getting, really you're getting slimed that. in there. Very difficult to kill there. I'm going to... Yeah, my blobs won't I'm up on the hill. Here. I need something to, to, to slay you with. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try a lion. Let's try a lion. Let's get this. Okay, so I've got a lion. Okay, all right, there's a lion. Is it real or okay. is it an illusion? You don't is know. Is it real or is it an illusion? Um, I don't know. don't know. What am I range on this? Hmm, no, that's no good. Hmm. I can't reach the lion to slay it. Nice. So you know what? I that's think... Right. Hmm, what are these things? All oh, some of these... Alright, uh, this sounds cool, so... I'm gonna go for it. Does it work? Yes! Oh, oh, giant! Giant. Giant, giant. Is incredibly powerful. He's like a jolly green giant. Look at this guy. I feel like yeah. he's making me, he, he makes me want to eat my vegetables. <laughs> uh, uh, now, of course, is it real or not? Is, this is the question. I don't know. I don't know, Julian. I guess you're gonna have to find out. Yeah, I'm. Maybe your lion could find out for you. I'm going to attempt to disbelieve because I, I I I can really I can smell the whiff of desperation here. Mmm. Mmm. What does it smell like? Mmm. <laughs> what does desperation That's smell right. like? I'm gonna try disbelief uh, on your giant. Smells but like victory real. to me. It's real. <laughs> it's so real. <laughs> it's so real. Oh. Um. Okay. Well, my <laughs> nice lion is just gonna have to try and attack. And yeah. He's come on. Chance, but oh, and it did it. It did it. What? Come on. <sighs> Bullocks. Yeah. All right. Whatever. I'm just gonna. Brief I'm doing this the old-fashioned way. Freaking slashing a line with my sword. No more games. All right. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. Disbelieve that. <laughs> disbelieve just, stainless steel. I don't know. I have not got much else to throw at you, to be honest. Uh, you got fire breathing. One more thing. One more creature to summon, and that is a unicorn. I, I am see. going to so, summon it down there. So do you run out of spells essentially? Like are these spells that yeah. you start with, like the once yeah. they're out, you gotta like fight it out with your fists yeah, essentially. Sure, sure. I mean, we've got a turn limit, so we're at turn fourteen out of twenty, so we're near the end. Oh, okay. And, I mean, it could, it could end in a draw if we if we fail to kill. So I'm. I demand that you fight me like a gentleman if we get <laughs> down to it. Well, I, yeah, it might come down to that. Um, I mean, I could actually go ahead and try and attack you now with my manticore, but I'm not that desperate yet. Let's mm. let's just wait and see if my unicorn do, can do something. Right. Because I'm st kind of out of range. You, uh, I'm deliberately placed my unicorn so you can't attack him at least this turn. Right, I see. Now let me see something. What's with this unicorn? What's its deal? Defense, attack, it's a mount, it can charge. All right, that's yeah. That's... Charge gives it a combat bonus after after moving. I see. Yeah, all that stuff is really cool. Um, hmm. But uh, I'm gonna go for magic bolt. Oh, no. oh there goes your mana core. Uh oh. oh my goodness me. <laughs> this is uh, actually this this game has turned around a bit. I was convinced I was gonna win a few times again. It appears the uh, tables have turned into swords. <laughs> yeah, well, my unicorn, he does stand a well, not too bad chance of killing the wizard. 28%, okay. so let's yeah. just give it a go. 20%, oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. 20% so, chance of making himself look <laughs> terrible. I am actually in a very difficult situation. I, I just don't... <sighs> It's well, the bling, right? It's the bling. I have to hope that my <laughs> my unicorn does the trick because I, I just don't have anything else to do at the moment. Can you just jump on the unicorn and ride him to victory? 
Yeah, it would be nice, but I'm just going to try and rely on my unicorn to... Uh, oh, engage to enemy, so I don't have a... I have to fight this thing? Yeah, so if that happens at the start of turn, you have to attack him, yeah. I see. Or you can cast a spell, you still can do that. I see. Hmm... What turn am I? 15 here? Yeah. yeah. Alright. Goodbye, unicorn. Oh, yeah, I okay. thought he was real. Alright, 82% chance. <laughs> All right, come on, man. Where are you, where are you gonna go? Your your own blobs are turning against you. They're they're blobbing their way across the map. So yeah, you know what? I had actually I had read a little bit about this game ahead of time, and I, I remember people saying about saving your spells. And I I guess it didn't occur to me that yeah. the spells weren't being refreshed. So no, the fact that you have the set number of spells now, I get it. Exactly. I get the whole balance, the chaos and order balance, because you don't yeah. want to use the low cost spells and then just run out of them. Essentially, the low chance spells. You can always no, I've got a dilemma here now because uh, I am running out of spells. I don't really have anything useful. Uh, it's near the, the end of the game. I, I could try and go for a draw by running away. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> which I, I might be able to do. But let's see if you can let's see if you can catch me. Why don't we go for a run through the gooey blob patch? Hey, eh? how about that? How about that? You can run through while there's still an opening. It's going to be like the Red Sea closing behind you, and I'm going to be the Pharaoh. Except I got a magical sword that I don't believe the Pharaoh had in Exodus or anything like that. All right, let's see here. You might um, have spells left, but I'm not sure you have. Right. Hmm. Hmm. What does this thing do? If you still have a creature, that would be quite useful, of course, but... Uh. Hmm. I'm trying to see what these things do. Yeah, I have some... Let's see, we're Chaos 2%. Yeah, it's not very significant. Hmm. Do, do, do. We're casting a skeleton. Skeleton's coming for you. Oh you dear. <laughs> so my, my cutie blobs are trapping me. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like there's a way out through the back. Um, and if you don't get out this turn, I guess it's possible that you won't get out. But I guess you yeah, can also, I, you'll be adjacent to the tile. I'm, I'm engaged to your uh, skeleton. I can oh. move away from him. <laughs> That's you unfortunate. Course, you could, of course, be... An illusion. He could be. Could be. I skeletons see. are very oh, no, I'm real. Try Julie. this. I'm going to try this spell. Subversion. Seventy percent chance. To turn against again. It. That will take control of your skeleton. Oh. Succeed. Uh, Sixty-two percent. Oh. Oh. It worked. I've oh. Got a skeleton now. So now. So I have a question. You can, you can attack it with your. Would sword. that have worked? Like, let's say hypothetically, skeleton's an illusion. Could you still subvert it? No, if you subvert an illusion, it will will disappear. Got it. Will it. Destroy the illusion. I was gonna say, hmm, because I feel like if if it stayed and I knew that it was an illusion, I would have such a large advantage. <laughs> like, <laughs> yes. Um. Hmm. All right. So I could fight it. I could. I see. It says I have a one hundred and two percent chance of beating it. <laughs> so <laughs> that sounds like pretty good odds. I think I'm gonna have to go for that. Yeah. Got it. That was very good odds for sure. Okay. Oh, so my gooey blobs dying your out. Your gooey blobs are dying. Oh, the yeah. ecosystem's falling apart. I don't know what. Do gooey blobs rely on photosynthesis or <laughs> there's some kind of lack of uh, carbon dioxide? Oh, Turn nothing 18. Really nothing I can do. You oh, might have something yeah. left. I don't know. That's right. Run. Run and hide. Run and hide. I don't know if any creature I could cast would actually be fast enough to catch you. That's the problem. I think uh, if, if anything says range one, that means they move one at a turn? Yeah, uh, no, that means the range of casting the spell. Oh, so, okay. Uh, all of the, well, most of the walking creatures will, will move two spaces, apart from the zombie and the dwarf. Which got is it. Got it, got it, got it. Hmm, okay. All right, so I'm going to yeah, go Goblin's for the goblin. Yeah, goblin's quite good. But I don't know if he can catch you by the end of this turn, by the end of the game. We're yeah, in turn 19 have, here. Uh, yeah, I think... I think I'm just going to have to run. Oh, man. Yes. I mean, you probably, you probably should have put the zombie around the other... Oh, no, because we're near the end of the game now. Um, right, 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 right. Let's cast Disbelieve on the zombie. Uh, on the goblin. No, okay. no the so goblin's real. I'm the goblin it's king, goblin. Julian. I am the yeah, goblin but king. But it probably was a real goblin, because he had something like 90-something 96% chance. Yeah. Can I give my uh, goblin a magic sword? <laughs> like, just hook him up? No. Okay. No. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I'll, I'm going to be able to catch you. I don't think it's going to happen. 
I don't think no, so. Not. But what you can oh. do. Uh -huh. Elephant failed. Okay. That's it. Yeah, I think you're gonna um, get away. It's twenty. Yeah, it's on turn twenty, and I just have to run a little. I'll try casting this spell just for the sake of it. What is it? What is it's it? It's a magical attack. Okay. Oh. Oh, and it didn't do okay. anything. Okay. Didn't do anything. That's that powerful dark power, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah turn twenty. That, yeah. Turn twenty. Well, Julian, I have to say that I, I think my, the viewers know who really won this fight. <laughs> I think they know. I'm just gonna cast a sword because I was was hoping I could dual wield magic swords. <laughs> you can, if you <laughs> or, cast another magic sword, it will will it actually increase its power. Oh, boost like it boost does, my attack boost, more. Yeah. Okay. Just visually, I would just have to know. Okay, a draw. Look at that. I, it was a draw, and it was uh, yeah, well played because I mean it was a very close game. I mean I I thought I had I had it in the bag at one point, but. As you can see, you know, fortunes can change a little bit from one turn to the next. But I think it was uh, that was a cool game. Well that was done. very cool. No, I, I really enjoyed that. I really feel like, uh, I don't know, you just really get into it. And, and even just the whole disbelief system, is that something that's, that's carried over from the original game? Yeah, it was in the original game. And uh, I decided to keep it because it kind of introduced this little poker element of bluff, which um, can make spice things up a little, and of course it, it can also mitigate against the you know the casting probabilities, and it can help push towards chaos or lore if that's what your strategy is as well. So it has you know it has a number of uses, and uh, yeah, I kind of like it. Very cool. So um, can you just tell us a little bit about where you currently are in development of this game? Um, I believe you're you're an alpha now, but you have a Kickstarter running. Is that right? Yeah, we've got a Kickstarter campaign running right now, and. Um, we're nearly two thirds of a way to, to, to towards our goal, uh, but there's a whole lot of extra features that we want to add to the game. Uh, it's not just a, an arena battle between wizards. So we've got a huge single-player campaign system, RPG system involved in the game, where wizards can battle through these realms, fighting wizard kings and wizard lords, and acquiring equipment. Uh, and it uses both the procedural generation system for these these realms that you explore, and plus there's like a an element of user-generated content because players who happen to be wizard kings can actually create their own realms. And you've also got a guild system in there, you've got multiplier online rankings and tournaments and um, it's it's kind of, uh, you know, a, 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 and you've got guilds as well. Uh, if you become a demigod in the game you can actually run your own guild. So there's an extensive uh, sort of meta game around the game which is which makes it even more interesting. All right, that's great. Um, I'll definitely be including links to the Kickstarter and I believe a Steam Greenlight uh, links yes, in the video great. description yeah. so everyone can check it out and support this game. Uh, I had a blast. I'd love to see how this comes along if you have like later beta builds or anything like that. I'd definitely love to see uh, how this is going. And I, yes. I just think more wizard bling. The more wizard bling I could have, <laughs> the better. Like I, if I could have like two, yeah. three, ten chains, gold shoes. I don't know, like anything like that. That'd be <laughs> fabulous. That'd be okay, fabulous. I'll bear it in mind. I'll, I'll I'll put that request in the in the uh, <laughs> the to do list. <laughs> All right. Well, Julian, thank you so much for showing me this game and for uh, speaking with us today. And I hope uh, everyone at home is watching and, uh, I don't know, look forward to this and, and sees the, the allure, the, the wizard allure uh, to Chaos Reborn. Thank you.